What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Wingstop Poppy and we're back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little different. Instead of giving you guys a normal sneaker review, I'm gonna be doing a how to style. And as you can see in my hand, we have the Nike Stussy Hirachis, which I actually recently just picked up last week. I did have to go to the aftermarket on these, which actually wasn't too bad. Resale was over like $20. And I'm not gonna to lie to you guys, I slept when these came out. I didn't even try on the sneakers app. Not that it probably would have mattered anyways, because we all know how that goes. But yeah, the reason I picked these up is specifically this colorway is phenomenal. I mean, in hand, these are even better. And yeah, I was wrong for sleeping on these during the drop, but I'm happy that the resale is not too crazy on them. So I was able to go ahead and scoop them up a few weeks after. <clears throat> so like I said, I don't want to give you guys just a traditional review. So we're going to do a how to style. I put four fits together. But before we get into the video, please hit the like, subscribe, and feel free to follow me down on Instagram down below to see how I style all my sneakers and outfits. Some of these fits, I'm not going to lie, you're probably going to see them on my Instagram. Not now because I haven't actually taken the photo, but probably in the future, I'm probably going to use some of these fits to post on the gram. But yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. But first, I do want to mention something about the Hirachis because I feel like a lot of people are curious about this and that's straight sizing. Now sizing for these, I went up half a size. I'm a true 10 and a half and I got these in 11. I can honestly say they fit me perfectly. The length fits perfect. They are a little tight on the ankle collar. So if you have like wider feet, you might want to go up half a size because they definitely do fit snug. But for a normal size foot, I would just go up half a size and you should be A-OK. -okay. So yeah, I just wanted to get that sizing out of the way because I know a lot of people have questions when it comes to Hirachi sizing. So figured I'd answer that question. But anyways, let's get into it. So the first two fits we have are actually more like fall, winter, sp late spring because I'm still in Chicago. It's still like 30, 40 degrees here. So I figured I would show off these two fits, which I'm probably still currently wearing even though it is March. So the first fit is going to start out with this Uniqlo Engineer Garments Fleece Jacket. Now, I got this two years ago or a year ago on Uniqlo. Now, Uniqlo's other fleeces, I will link all this stuff down below. I actually did do a Uniqlo, Uniqlo fleece review, like toll video with that Patagonia fleece. But yeah, this is one of my favorite fleece jackets. This was $40. And like I said, I got this a year ago. This thing is still holding up and I wore this a ton. And basically, pretty simple. I just paired it with some Uniqlo green cargos. Nothing too crazy, but I really do like these cargo pants. These are actually in stock at Uniqlo as well. So if you want to go check these out, like I said, I will link them in the bio. I believe those cargos were $40 and yeah, they still have them in stock. So if you're interested, uh, link is in the bio. Now moving on to our next fit. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I like Carhartt stuff. I'm actually wearing a Carhartt work in progress sweatshirt right now. But I had to pair these because you guys know I love brown, I love earth, earth tones. The Stussies are pretty much earth tone colorways. So I had to pair with my favorite Carhartt jacket, which is this vintage Carhartt Detroit jacket and this faded mocha wash. Uh, recently just showed this off in a pickup video. And yeah, right when I, right when I saw those Stussies, I knew I was gonna wear it with this jacket. And I basically wore this jacket with some Uniqlo JW Anderson pants. And you're probably thinking, wow, he has a lot of Uniqlo stuff. And I'm telling you guys, if you're looking for some quick essential pieces that are quality pieces, by the way, because this Uniqlo stuff I've had for a while. Not the joggers, those are relatively new. But this fleece and these pants specifically, these pants are two years old. I've worn them a bunch. They're still holding up. And they were a collab with JW Anderson. Now, obviously, you can't find these. But you could find other pants at Uniqlo. And honestly... Like I said, I recommend all their stuff. It's high quality, it's affordable, and I feel like it's just a great price for your money. But yeah, I like these pants a lot, and I figured it goes great together with the Stussies. So now, moving on, I want to hit you guys with like some spring, summer fits. Maybe late spring, because you know, like I said, I'm still in Chicago. It's still going to be like 40 degrees here. So, but that means it's the perfect weather for the sweatshirt and shorts combo. If you guys have never experienced the hoodie and shorts combo, you are missing out. It is the best uniform 
uh, outfit you could possibly wear. I don't know why I said uniform, but the sweatshirt and shorts combo is undefeated. Like I said, it's, it's the best outfit ever. So anyways, I decided to pair my red Supreme hoodie because I wanted to hit off the red on the tongue of the Hirachi. So I paired this red Supreme hoodie, which this, this hoodie is actually like four years old. This is my first ever Supreme New York hoodie. It's just a tonal S logo. I like it a lot. And surprisingly, I haven't sold it. That's how much I like it. But I just paired them with my favorite shorts for the summer. And that is these Nike sportswear shorts as well. Uh, now these are, I believe they're back in stock on the Nike store. I'll try to link them down below. I think they're around like 35 to 40 bucks. I actually got these on sale last summer, but excuse me. But yeah, these are my favorite shorts. Um, these Eric Emanuel and Patagonia baggies are my three go-to shorts for the summer. I'll probably make a short video closer um, to like to like the warmer months and give you guys some tips on like best shorts to buy for the summer. So if you follow me on Instagram, especially during the summer, you guys know I rock a lot of pairs of shorts. But yeah, these Nike shorts for the price, you can't really go wrong. They got a back pocket and they're basically just nylon shorts. They fit above the knee. If you don't like the above the knee fit, then yeah, these shorts probably aren't for you, but figured I'd mention it. And then our last fit is going to be the same Nike shorts. And I just paired it with a green Carhartt work in progress tee. I like this tee a lot. And yeah, this is work in progress and not inline Carhartt. And there is a difference, which I don't want to talk. I don't want to really talk about the whole difference right now. I'll probably make a video explaining like work in progress and or Carhartt work in progress versus inline Carhartt. But yeah, I just paired the green. I feel like they go really nice with the Stussy Hirachis. And yeah, those, that's pretty much all my fits. I mean, nothing too crazy. I just wanted to show you guys really how I would wear these and give you guys some simple outfit ideas for um, the Stussy Hirachis if you're looking to pick these up or even if you have them. So yeah, like I mentioned, I will link all this stuff in the bio to the best of my ability. If you guys are interested, feel free to go check it out. Highly recommend all this stuff. And yeah, uh, that's going to do the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it was something a little different. Um, I need, I feel like I need to start incorporating different stuff because everyone on YouTube does sneaker reviews and it's kind of just like repetitive. So I figure if I could spice it up and we could do some more of these, I will in the future. But I hope you guys enjoyed it as always. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.